Well, here we are. We're going to have a lesson on modeling multiplication with arrays. Our essential question today is how can you use arrays to model multiplication and find factors? So we've modeled multiplication in all different ways. Now we're going to use multiplication arrays to find factors. So the definition of array is a set of objects arranged in rows and columns. And so to make an array, we place the same number of circles in each row and the same number in each column. So columns go up and down, guys, and rows go left to right. That's important to remember. Columns go up and down, and the rows are left to right. So Arrays kind of look like a garden or a row of desks. Um, anything that you can think of that would be in rows and in columns. So let's look at a problem. Many people grow tomatoes in their gardens. Lee plants three rows of tomato plants with six plants in each row. How many plants are there? Well, the first thing we need to do is look at what kind of a picture we can draw. So let's think of rows. Remember, rows go left to right. So we're going to look at the number of plants in each row. He has three rows. One, two, three rows of tomatoes, and then six plants in each row. One, two, three, four, five, six plants in each row. So then we have to figure out how many tomato plants are there. And we're going to do that by counting. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So now we can tell that three rows times, and this is six columns equals 18 plants. Let's look at arrays a little bit differently. We're going to use eight tiles to make as many different arrays as possible. And we have to use all eight tiles every time. So use eight tiles to make as many different arrays as you can using all eight tiles. Well, let's look at the first way. We took the eight tiles and we may put them into one row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got eight tiles in this row and we've got one row. One row of eight tiles. That gives us one row of eight and that's equal to one times eight because we have one row times eight tiles and that equals eight. Well we're going to take those eight tiles and we're going to do something different. We're going to make another array. We're going to put eight rows now. Here we are with our rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows, but there's only one column. Over here there's one row and eight columns. Over here there's eight rows and rows and one column going up and down. So this would be eight rows of one. Eight times one is eight. This is one row of 8, and this is 1 times 8 is 8. And that's how we use arrays to find our factors, because our factor over here is 1, because we have one row. And right here, we have 8. So 1 times 8 is 8. Right here, we use it to find this factor, which is 8. And right here, we have 1. So 8 times 1 is 8. Let's look at two more. We're still looking at using 8 tiles to make as, different, as many different arrays as possible. So let's take these 8 tiles and let's make two rows of 4. 1, 2, that's I'm going to start my rows. So I'm going to have two rows and I'm going to have four tiles in each row. 1, 2, 3, 4, Four, one, two, three, four. So right here, I do have my two rows, two rows, and my four 
columns. Columns go up and down, and rows go left to right. 2 times 4 is 8. Well, then let's keep going. And we're going to look at this one, and we're going to make 4 rows of 2. 1, 2, 3, 4 rows. And how many are going to be in each row? 2. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and 1, 2. So again, we see we have one factor. Here is 4 because we have one, two, three, four rows. And if I switch colors so you can see the columns, we have two columns, one, two columns. So four times two is eight, just the same as we have right down here. So using those same eight tiles, we made four different arrays. We made as many different arrays as we could by using all eight of the tiles. In this one, we used one row of eight, and we got one times eight is eight. In this one, we used two rows of four, and that gave us two times four is eight. In this one, we used four rows, and then there were two in each row. That is 4 times 2 is 8. And the last one is 8 rows. And there's only one in each column, or one in each row, sorry. So that's 8 times 1 is 8. 8 rows, 1, 4 rows of 2, and 2 rows of 4, and 1 row of 8. So there are four different ways to use, to make arrays using 8 different tiles. Now let's practice writing multiplication sentences when looking at arrays. So we're going to write a multiplication sentence for this array. So first, let's look at the array. How many do we have in each row? Well, let's look at our rows. One, two, three rows. The rows go all the way across. Remember, rows go left to right. So now let's look at our columns. We have one, two, three, four columns. We're going to look right here and we're going to write the number four. So our multiplication for this sentence for this problem, this array, would be three times four equals, and then we would count them all together, and that equals twelve. So remember we find our factors by looking at the rows times the columns, and that gives us our multiplication sentence. Here are two more arrays. Write a multiplication sentence for these arrays. Always look at the rows first. So, in this array, how many do we have? We have one, two, three, four rows. And then let's see how many columns we have. When we look in our columns, we have one column, two, three, four, Five. So we have four rows times five columns, and that equals 20. Well, let's look over here at this one. How many rows do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six rows times, let's look at our columns, one, two, three. Oh, we only have three columns. So we have six rows times three columns, and that equals 18. And we know that because we can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So that gives us six times three, six times. 3 equals 18. So let's just review one last time. Our question was, how can we use arrays to model multiplication and find factors? We learned that in arrays, columns go up and down, so all columns are going up and down, and rows go left to right. So when we look at a problem and we want to find the factor, we need to look at the rows and then the columns. 
rows and then the columns. So let's look at this particular one. How many rows do we have? We have one, two, three rows. So we have three. Then how many columns do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six columns. That gives us our other factor. So we have 18. The most important thing to remember is your columns and your rows. Columns up and down, rows left to right, and use the number of each to make your multiplication sentence. Now you can use arrays to model multiplication.